Welcome back to another Arcade Collection Show and Tell video. Today I'm going to show you both of my God of War games for the PS4 and PS5. First of all, I have to admit that the God of War games didn't really appeal to me. Um, prior to this, the only God of War game that I played and finished was God of War Ghost of Sparta for the PSP. You may be wondering, why Ghost of Sparta? Well, you know, PSP at that time was, was big. And I was bored one day and I was looking for a game to play and I happened to stumble across Ghost of Sparta. So I thought, why not? Let's try it. Believe you me, it was a mission to finish it. It wasn't because it was hard. It's just that if you're not really into the game, then it can be really tedious. Hence why it took a while for me to even muster the willpower to finish the game. Now on to 2018's God of War. So I was instantly sold when I first saw the gameplay. Plus, when my local retailer were announcing that they were going to sell the Collector's Edition, I immediately pounced and pre-ordered, as usual. So here it is in all its glory. So the outer casing has a beautiful design, which is uh, inspired by Norse mythology, as you can see here. Right, on that side, there it is. Uh, similarly, with the other side as well. Right, it shows, um, on the front, it shows Kratos and Atreus, as you can see there. Uh, the top also has a logo of the of God of War. There it is, it's very nice. And this is all embossed as well, as you can see here. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but if I put it on an angle, get it up close to you, there it is. Hopefully you can see that, that is uh, embossed. It's very nice. Right, and if, basically, uh, if you, you know, if you don't really care about the outer box and you want to cut this up, you can probably use this as a, you know, as a, put it as a poster or something. But, you know, I, of course I won't do that. All right. Now, the back shows you what is inside the Collector's Edition, as you can see there. Now, if I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this up close to the camera so you can see clearly. Right, there it is. There is the contents on, uh, on this side, right there. Right, that's the digital contents. And essentially, that is what it reads. So, what is uh, included in this Collector's Edition? God of War on Blu-ray disc, premium steel bookcase, 9-inch statue of Kratos on a trace, carved Holdra Brothers statue, cloth map of Midgard, exclusive lithograph, bonus digital content, which includes Death's Vow armor set, Exile Guardian Shield, Dark Horse comic book, Dark Horse art book, and a dynamic PS4 theme. Right? So there they are on that side. Okay? Okay, so let's open this up and see the main box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one side, I'm going to open up the other side, and all I'm going to do is just going to push it up from one end. Okay? And there it is. There is the main box. Now, as you can see, it has a different design. Okay, so it's got a, it's got a lighter tone than the outer casing. Basically, all it has is it shows you Kratos and Atreus on a boat, uh, you know, in Midgard somewhere. There is one side, okay, and there is the other side. Now, the bottom doesn't actually show you anything. Uh, the back just has the, uh, the same image uh, as you saw before with the side of the um, uh, outer casing, right? The top has the God of War logo again. There you are. Okay, which is very nice, okay? And when we open the lid, we are actually greeted by, with runes on either side of the flap. As you can see there, I'm gonna move it back. There we are. Now, if you're wondering what it says, here is a translation. Thanks to God of War Wiki for, for providing said translation. So, Underneath that, we have the steel case. Let's take it out and see. Right, and here we are. There is the steel case, which also has an embossed cover. I don't know if you can see that. How do I, yeah, there we go. Embossed cover. This is also embossed as well, right? And there's the back. Now, the back has another uh, rune, okay? On the back. Now, if you're wondering what it says, here's another translation. Again, thank you to God of War Wiki for providing the translation. I will put the link to the wiki in the description. So, what do you get inside? Let's open it up. 
First of all, there is the God of War disc, right? The PS4 disc. Now, it uh, seems like there's an image behind it. So if we take out the disc, that's it. There's nothing really behind it. It's just that. All right. Now on the other side, obviously, we have all the booklets and the flyers and whatnot. So what are you getting here? Uh, the first thing that you get is a controller uh, flyer. There it is. There's the default controls, right? Uh, the back just shows you, you know, bits on, you know, uh, information on PlayStation Plus, as usual. Uh, underneath that is the actual download, um, the DLC code for God of War, which is right there. Now, it's multi-page, and it's in different, um, as you can see there, it's in different languages, right? Right, so there it is. And, and just in case you're wondering, behind that also shows an image of uh, Kratos in a trace, navigating the, um, the lake. Okay, back to the box, right? So underneath that, there is another DLC code. So if I, I'm gonna take this out and show you uh, without revealing the code. Uh, right here. Right, there it is. There's another DLC code. And again, it's multi-page, um, you know, with, uh, with all, all the different languages. Okay, so that's underneath that. Right, now. What else is in here? So if I open this up, right, and uh, if I if I take out uh, this foam insert, uh, let's see if I can do this gracefully. I take that out. We see here that is the rest of the contents. Right there it is. Okay. Now these have not been opened. All right, ever since. So uh, when did this game come out? 20, 2018, I think it was. I've never opened this, so uh, this will be the first time that I've opened this. So again, you guys are in for a treat, right? So uh, yeah, get ready for this. Okay, so let's start from the back. Now, the back here we have the lithograph. There it is, right? And again, uh, yeah, I haven't opened this, so let's let's open it up. Okay, and this is what the lithograph looks like, right? There's the front, there's the back, and inside we have the lithograph itself. Sorry, this was this is not the actual lithograph. Of course, I, I, I you know I, I made a mistake. This is the lithograph. This is just the um, the sleeve that it comes in. So there it is. And on the back shows you a message from the creative director. Corey Barlog. Okay, so there is the lithograph. Okay. Next up is the cloth map. So here it is. Here is the cloth map. And again, like I said, uh, this is unopened. So let's let's open it up. Right, here's the cloth map, and here it is. Okay, okay, now we need to unravel this, so let's do that. And of course there is a cardboard insert to keep, keep the whole thing uh, intact. And if we unravel this, this is what the cloth map looks like. Now, just gotta figure out how am I going to display this, but here it is. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move this. Uh, there we go. There is the cloth map. Oh, maybe I can do this. There we are. And uh, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of runes here. Uh, on this side, as you can see, 
So there we are. Right. And if you're looking for a translation, uh, I'll try and find it and put it in the comments. So thanks for waiting. Okay, next up we have the carved Holdra brothers, Brock and Sindri. And they come in this small box here. So let's uh, open it up and see the contents. Alright, here we are. And if we slide this out, there we go. So let's, uh, so there's a, open this up and Let's see here. We have, uh, first of all, we have Sindri, which is this one here. Let's see if I can adjust the zoom a little bit so you can see. Oh wow, that didn't, uh, that didn't quite work. There we go. Right, there he is. Okay. And we also have Brock here. I'll try and get the camera to zoom in correctly. Oh God, there we are. It's, uh, it's pretty good, it looks uh, really detailed. Okay, so those are the two Holdra Brothers. And finally, the statue itself. So let's take them out, take it out, sorry, and let's see if we can do this as gracefully as possible. So again, like I said, this has never been opened, as you can see. Look, the plastic still clings. So um, let's see, how do we... Oh, oh, it's fairly simple. There we are. Right, so let's take that out. That's to protect, obviously, the bow and arrow because it's, um, you know, it's pretty flimsy. Um, there we go. Let's put that out of the way and take off the plastic. And there it is. There is the God of War statue. Um, and again, there's quite a bit of weight to this. It's 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 nice and solid, but uh, there it is. Let's see if I can move that around for you so you can see it. Um, there it is. Right, and I'll zoom in in a bit to show you uh, more details of it. So let's take a look. Check out that detail. There's a trace. Hopefully you can all see this. Uh... That's one of the ghouls being, uh... well, about to get his head chopped off. There's a detail on Kratos' uh, face and Atreus' face. Right. There is the back. There's a the shield itself. Yeah, and uh, there it is. That is the God of War collection. 2018's God of War uh, Collector's Edition. Right. Moving on to the second game in the series, God of War Ragnarok for the PS5. Now, I was actually close, really close to buying the collector's edition of this game. But when I found that the collector's edition did not come with the game, yeah, my interest faded. Instead, I have bought the launch edition. Um, now, what does the launch edition uh, have? So here it is, the launch edition, if you can see that. It includes the Risen Snow Armor and Atreus' Risen Snow Tunic. Right, so that's what the um, launch edition has. Now, going back to the old um, collector's edition, you know, I'm all up for pre-ordering collector's edition. But when it doesn't include a game, I have to think twice, especially when it costs a lot of money. In New Zealand, games are expensive, and the collector's edition are even more expensive. 
for me at least, you know, collecting games is an expensive hobby. Uh, and I'm sure with most of you, uh, it, it, it's the same thing. Now, I have missed out on some collector's edition games in the past that I really wanted. But, you know, as usual, the adult responsibilities got in the way. Right. But anyway, I digress. Back to this game. Uh, as expected, there's not much to show besides, you know, the, you know, like I said before, this is the launch edition, which includes, you know, the Risen Snow Armor and the Risen Snow Tunic for Atreus. Uh, the, the inside only has two things, and that is the, um, the game disc itself. Okay, and if you're wondering what the back looks like, uh, you know, there it is. There's an image of um, Kratos and Atreus uh, in combat. Right, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this out and show it to you. Uh, there's no point. There we go. This is a lot better. There. That is the inside cover. Alright. And, uh, yeah, besides that, there's also, um, you know, the usual, uh, you know, health warning, precaution, whatever. And the digital content itself, which is, uh, which is right there. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, that yeah, uh, this yeah again, if you if you've never played the 2018 God of War and God of War Ragnarok, I strongly recommend you do. It is such an experience, especially when you play it on a big screen TV, full surround sound, darkened room, the whole shebang. Uh, but yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss future videos. Uh, I still have a lot to show you. See you all in the next one.